Wrestling in a star of RuPaul's Drag Race season five and All Stars two. She's had it officially. <laughs> Detox. Look at this wig. <laughs> All right. Have these have these been disinfected? Yes. Oh, I brought my Lysol wipes. We'll get her done. Okay. Uh, star well, one of, of you hold be my microphone stand so I don't have to hold this thing. <laughs> star of season twelve from New York City by way of Paris, France. Give it up for Nikki Doll. <laughs> yes. Welcome to Chicago. Hi. Oh my gosh. What's tea news, sis? <laughs> I don't get it. Um, welcome. Holy shit. Um, all right. Well, welcome to Chicago. It's your first viewing party. It is. It yes. is. Yes. I'm so happy to be here. Uh, how has the ride been for you so far? Uh, crazy. Yeah. Between. Dracon being canceled, the coronavirus, and a disqualification. Amazing! <laughs> yeah. That was the perfect season for me to be in. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of cancelings. <laughs> Has it canceled a lot of your gigs? Yeah, I mean, the whole country is kind of like freaking out right now, so we don't really know if our gigs are canceled yet, but Ugh. hopefully not. Fun fact about Nikki Doll, it is her birthday at midnight. <laughs> so, yeah. We will be drinking enough for the rest of those tour dates. I hope. On this Hope year so. Night. Right, we are gonna kill that virus dead. Yeah, <laughs> Some fucking tequila. You can't catch it if you just keep drinking, right? Oh, yeah, right. Oh, my liver has been sanitized since high school. I woke up this morning <laughs> and I was like not feeling well and I couldn't tell if I was hungover or if it was corona, so I just call it the corona over. Right. So <laughs> it's I'm corona just light. staying like Co that, staying pretty fucking level. Corona for light. The next couple corona of weeks. Light. Corona right. light. I, well, every time I get a fucking hangnail, I'm like, oh, I got the fucking virus. Oh, God. <laughs> can't go out of the house. Got to order Chipotle. Um, all right, so, uh, yeah, oh, yeah, get her, yeah. That's the guest. Give it up for Shea Kool Aid. <laughs> I don't know where she is. We'll get her in here eventually. Uh, obviously, you were great in The Invisible Man. <laughs> <laughs> um, obviously, it's a little lighter tonight, but we are taking uh, full precautions for everyone that is here. Uh, uh, you can see our staff walking around, uh, sanitizing everything. So, uh, oh, shall we get started? All right, thank you guys for oh being here. God. Let's get it started. Cheers. Let's go. Welcome, Nikki. <laughs> Miss Jada's coming in hot. Uh, all right, uh, welcome Shay Coulee. Sorry, I'm late. Coronavirus. Ah, uh, yes. Seriously, you dude. look fucking hot tonight, dude. You know what? Sometimes I feel like it's when you're like rushed the most that you pull out the weirdest, most like amazing faces. <laughs> oh, oh, no, I didn't mean like that, sis. Coronavirus. Come back here. <laughs> it's just American Airlines. I'm gonna switch over to Delta, like you. I'm making the jump to America now that I live here. <laughs> right? Because it's convenient because you can get a lot more direct flights. Yeah, exactly. That's Look at us talking about things that they can't relate right. to. Yeah, I can't They're relate They're all like, that. how yeah. dare you assume that they can't afford a flight? That this is, is a, that's not what I said. This, this is, is a I, spirit Southwest crowd diva. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Respect. It's a Greyhound crowd. Let's do that. <laughs> um, uh, who are you guys, uh, uh, who are you two voted, uh, 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 rooting for so far on this season? Who are you excited for? Me, yeah, yeah. Uh, Ooh. It's hard to say so far, you know. <laughs> uh, well, she's not longer. Than, I'm kidding. Um, uh, I don't know yet. I don't, honestly don't know because it's really. Have you answer. worked with any of the dolls? How, who have I worked with? I don't. You know, Gigi, Britta, Britta. No, I don't think I've worked Jan, with Britta. I, just, I know some of those girls Jada. from New York. Well, I actually so saw you there. in New York a couple weeks back, and that was That's really, true. really nice. I really enjoyed watching you perform. You were such a sexy bitch. Thank you. I was yeah. really happy to see you too. Yes, yeah. it was cute. Uh, have you worked with any of the of the girls, Shay? Um, actually, no, none of them as of yet. And it's been really nice to be a little bit departed and watch the show as like a fan of these girls and like getting to know them because the girls on season 12 have amazing personalities. Yeah. Yeah, I like them. This is a watchable one. Yeah. We've worked with Jada before, but it was oh, like wow. years ago. Wow. Well, no, yeah, no, I was that was. Actually, you know what that it was? was like five years ago. Years ago. Like, yeah. yeah, back in Milwaukee. And uh, it's so crazy, crazy to see how far she's come because I know she's wanted this for a really long time. Oh, my God. I'm Team Jada. I'm yes. obsessed with her. Yeah. Come on, Miss Milwaukee. Um, Kiki. Uh, uh, did you who did you recognize when you went in? Um, I recognized Brita, of course, because you can't miss her in New York. 
Uh, <laughs> I recognize Sherry, uh, Jen, and Gigi. But G Gigi, we were following each other on Instagram for a while. Yeah. So then when I saw her, I was like, oh, well, hello. <laughs> How did are you doing? Did you work with any of them? I worked with Jen in the past. Oh, yeah. okay. But I'm also from a different uh, scene in New York. I'm more of the club scene, like Lady Fag, Susan Barsh. Okay. Where all the other New York girls are from, like Hell's Kitchen. Mm -hmm. So we, were, we knew of each other, but we were not really working together. How long have you uh, lived in New York? I lived in New York for, now it's been my second year. Two years, J straight from Paris? From, I lived in San Francisco for one year. Oh, okay. uh, don't ask me why. I, it just <laughs> happened. It just happened. <laughs> and before that, I was in Paris, yes. Okay, do you have family here? What brought you to America? My boyfriend. Oh. I also wanted to like, set new challenge for me. You know, mm -hmm. like, like pa people know about Paris, but it's still like a very fucking small country, so there's so much you can do. And I just wanted like bigger, just bigger opportunity, bigger money. <laughs> it helps. So yeah, here I am. Who did you think was your uh, biggest competition walking in? Um, so there's two answers to that. It's either the girl that is in the same lane as me, and then I will have to say Gigi, or the girl that doesn't that do everything I don't do, and then I would have to say, well, I said Sherry. Oh, well, we all saw the disclaimer, bitch. I didn't invent it. <laughs> For 30 seconds, we saw it every wow. week. Right, was it me? I was like, damn, no. this is long. They're like, you're going to sit We have to with sit this. in this for a moment. Well, what you don't know is in the next episode, they translate it as well for every people. No, I'm kidding. Oh. <laughs> well, they just had to keep making it longer and longer for every week when they have to cut all our scenes out. <laughs> it's like a 10 minutes. Right. They're like, eh, we didn't know what to do with the scrap footage, so you're just going to look at <laughs> Um, so uh, what, were, what challenges were you most afraid of? You said you were afraid of what Sherry could do. Like what was... Like the improv challenge that yeah. we're about to watch. I yeah. think yeah. like <laughs> when you are doing the competition in another language, there's some things that you can't avoid and your wit is something that is built based on your language. Mm -hmm. So when you have to do it in another... It's like I would ask you to do a challenge in French if you had some knowledge of French. There's so much words you, you know. Yeah. So yeah, yeah like comedy would would be harder for me than like slaying the runway or yeah. building a look or lip syncing. Yeah. Oh, and we're back. Um, I love Heidi. I love Heidi. I love her too. I love yeah. Heidi. Yeah. Who, who, Thank you. you have terrible taste, but I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who are you closest with uh, from the show, Nikki? Um, I am very close with Gigi. Honestly, mm -hmm. almost everyone. Like, <laughs> I know it sounds boring. You guys want us all to kill each Almost other. We might count. will at some point. <laughs> but so far, we like each other a lot. Yeah. I, I love Heidi. Heidi is like my little sister. Um, what What is Rock's issue? Because I feel like... At, like That's a good question. Everyone... Because <laughs> I feel like everyone watching has liked Rock so much so far. Yeah. But it seems like there's a disconnect among the group. Like, well, I think back in the day, she didn't know that everybody loved her so much. Oh, uh, well, she, know? she was but, kind of weird energy. Like, she didn't know how to connect. Well, I mean, to her defense, I think it's a big... It's a big um, Stress to come as the second San Francisco queen and having the aesthetic that she has. So she was really like she had she put a lot of pressure on herself. Yeah. Um, and you, you can see that here. But she's f a fucking star. I live for rock. Yeah. yeah. Rock is amazing. I heard somewhere that Heidi's uh, middle name stands for Nita, Nina. So it would be Heidi, Ni Heidi Nina Closet, which is funny. Well, right? she changed her version every day. Literally. Really? She yeah. would like change the story. Uh huh. I don't think she knows. <laughs> I really don't think she knows. Oh, She's yeah. like, closet? Hide Is that my name? Sure. I'll take it. <laughs> okay. Oh, because it's like Heidi, Heidi in the closet. Heidi. Heidi in the closet. Heidi in the closet. Shake oh, okay. everyone. That's her first episode. I was literally like going over that in my head. And secondly, like, I get it now. Yeah. Um, are they, do, uh, do we feel like they're cutting Sherry out? Like actively, because the first episode was heavy on the sherry, right? Yeah. And w I feel like that one was already in the can. Do we think that the editors are going back and going? Well, I, let's put I a feel little like more they have to. Them. Right. Right. I feel like honestly, well, it's it's tough because usually the first few episodes are already pre-edited, but they're always editing as everything goes. Like once the first few episodes happen, they wait. They watch what people's reactions are to the show. They take notes on what the fans' reactions are, who they like, who they don't like, and they edit certain things. Right. to appear a certain way. So they definitely 
are capable of editing her out, and I think that, that it's kind of responsible of them maybe to yeah. diminish her appearance as much as possible, even though clearly we all know she does well. Yeah. You know, but there is a way that they can actively do their part in giving her as little screen time as possible. Who the hell is this? Hi. Oh. <laughs> Who are you looking for? Wait, what's, what's your, your friend's name? name? I, we can't call her. Is your what's your name? Cletus? Oh, yeah. You just put oh, her you don't on want to put right her on now. blast. You don't want to be put on blast because yeah. you just walked in we front of four gorgeous to, right. ladies. Yeah, standing mid spotlight. Yeah, I just, I don't want to make a spectacle. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Do you guys happen to have a megaphone and. <laughs> can I just get on stage? I'm just going to get on stage. I, I think just he's feel about comfortable to leave. on stage. Um, uh, we have a question, some questions from uh, Twitter and Instagram. Uh, Daniel, at Daniel14White said, what's the dif biggest difference in performing in other countries? I guess we'll start with you. What's the biggest difference between uh, France and here? Well, there's a very easy answer to that. We don't get tipped in France. So unless you want to have a one euro coin thrown at you. Which, make it right. real. Right. So yeah. I had to learn how to adapt my performances as like um, an interaction, yeah. you know, which is... Amazing, because you, like you don't it. have to stand for fucking six minutes on stage <laughs> without having to take a fucking break, you know? Yeah. So now when I'm tired, I'm just like, oh, you want to give me a dollar? Right. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> you know? And then you can just a, breathe. I love that American accent. That was so good. I've learned from my story <laughs> producer when I said hummus, and she was like, hummus? Oh, jeez. Yeah. This oh, fucking well. show. <laughs> uh, who were you guys' favorites in the challenge? Uh, Heidi? Orne who said Ornisha? Ornisha. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. Same. Heidi's so fucking good at this shit. Super charismatic. You are so sure. obsessed with her. I am obsessed with her. You She's should. great. She's amazing. She's amazing. She's my queen. Uh, oh. Nikki, yeah. You did good. Right. You'll be paid after the show. Yes. Um, uh, Detox, what's new with you? What's new in your life? Uh, I'm here. I don't know. <laughs> I'll... I'll all of my yes, the Kesha cruise is coming up in October. Get your tickets; oh, yeah. they'll be fun. Hopefully, that won't be fucking canceled like the rest of my gigs for the next month. <laughs> which means I'll be in Chicago for a while, which Yay! is exciting. Yay! I haven't been home in months, so now I'm forcefully. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm I'm starting renovations on my house in like two weeks. I'm very excited about that. Cute. Yeah. Uh, well, you have a house. Look at you. Yeah. Did you get any new pets or anything? I, d I have a family of squirrels actually living. <laughs> Speaking of squirrels. Is oh anyone gosh. following this saga on Instagram? <laughs> there, Gina, my friend Gina is visiting from New York and she spent the night with me last night and she saw them. Um, it's a, This mother squirrel has made a nest in my windowsill in my closet and I went to shoo her away before my last trip. Um, and the minute I shoot her away, I saw that she had a little litter of little baby squirrels, and I felt so sad. I was like, oh my god, they're gonna freeze to death, they're gonna die. But she came back like five minutes later. And so now every morning I go like check on them, and I make sure I put my little furs next to the window so they're warm. And they're so cute and naked, and their little eyes are still closed. Everyone come over and see them. <laughs> but don't. The irony that you, that you put your furs in the window. Right. Yeah. What is the fur to made keep, item? To keep these squirrels Probably alive. Squirrels, the that's what I'm saying. Well, I want to make sure, they're, I wanna make sure they're healthy and full grown so I can make a new rug. <laughs> 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 Fucking Cruella de Vil of the suburbs. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, what's new with you, Shay? Um, you know, like, same thing. Coronavirus yeah. is where this is like my last gig for a while. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pool party. <laughs> Pool party you know, at Auntie D's. Right, for real. Um, yeah, I guess I'm just going to get an OnlyFans now. Oh. For the next month. What, it's literally just going to be me just um, sitting I'll there join. playing with my dog. I'll join. And that's not a <laughs> euphemism for anything. I just have a really cute dog. Um, we, we got a bunch of questions. Oh. They just say, Shay, Sorry. how was your summer? <laughs> <laughs> it was really hot. Yeah. It was like so... Just wow. had to take a yeah. break. Just chill. Yeah, no, it was yeah. just warm. What is that ad on TV? It's I, fucking Boy it's Butter. Boy Butter on Every VH1. Boy Butter ads on VH1. Well, he was not Wait in my Wait a second. Team. Why is he turning butter in the sand? Oh! Did he... Did that don't make no damn sense. Did it's he just tropical his butter. His oh! <laughs> you need to be in more it's of a controlled butter. environment <laughs> if you're going to be turning butter. It's been a while, butter. sorry. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I'm just going to be like... Are you Doing going on any, some shit? You're going on any tours or anything? 
soon? Um, I was. Oh, TBD, oh, oh, TBD, yeah. too soon. Yeah, we'll see. They're, they're just like everything is like postponed. I'm gonna. It, but you know what? It's kind of nice to have some time to be home and be a little bit more yeah. introspective and like think about your drag and plan things. So I'm forced to, you know, like really plan and get kind of creative. So I'm looking forward to that. How can people support you if they can't come to shows? I mean, just buy merch and fucking OnlyFans. stream cocky on iTunes. Well, actually, you know, like everybody else isn't working, so don't spend your money on me. I've got savings. I'll be fine. I'll take your money, you though. Know. Right. I will take your money. Yeah. They just canceled these girls' first drag con, so they will take your money. Seriously. I know. Yeah. Who, Cash app, Venmo, PayPal, yeah. OnlyFans, yeah. Skyblock, Caramel. I, I will I open <laughs> anything you want me to open. It will be available. I do want to say, we were on the phone with Jan earlier, Gina and I, and I I told Jan this, and I want to tell you this while we're here. I probably should do it in private, but I know how exciting it is that it's your first year doing this, and I feel, and a lot of us feel very terrible that not only has this season already been clouded with controversy, the drag con is canceled, gigs are being canceled. It's it's so sad for us to see all of our new sisters having to experience it. So know that we're with you and we love you and support you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Well, that was fucking awful. I am confusion. That was the theme of the date, though. World's worst. Yeah, well, they took but that, that was really bad. Oh, but I'm confused. I'm like, how were they carrying Aiden if they were all saying the same exact yeah. thing at the same exact time? Right. right. You all agreed on it. And no offense, that was lame. But like, right. you all agreed that you were gonna like do this thing. So how the hell, if you guys are all collectively doing the same exact thing, you're carrying one person? Right. It could have been funny if it was done differently or. I feel like they made it way too slow. Like, ugh. The yeah. slowness was exhausting. It was missing Exhaust the comedic yeah, timing because yeah. it was so slow. And literally, I mean, if they granted it was improv, but if they would have gone in with some sort of a script and a formula besides a slow, drawn out, it could have been something that was a little, a little more funny. Yeah. Right. It was painful to watch. Yeah, that was, <laughs> yeah, was rough. Afraid. Did you like the fruit one? Was that much better? Uh, no. Uh, no. How about the scout one? <laughs> that one was amazing, you guys. Did you see it? The squirrel Good. was great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Jada might come in and save it there for a second, and it just kind of... I liked um, the fruit punch line. That one was yep. really yeah. great. Or, yeah, or I liked the Orange steam. You Glad. Yeah. <laughs> Orange You Glad was really good. I'm getting really steamed. Made me made me chuckle. Yeah. I was like, okay, Which bitch. one? The first time she the said it or the second time? Oh, she said it twice? <laughs> oh, sorry, babe. Say I wasn't no. paying too much attention. <laughs> <laughs> good. Also, I love that they have Vivacious just like record her voiceovers on her Android and send them over? Absolutely. <laughs> I was like, can we get the gal at the studio? <laughs> what is that? How did you know that Vivacious has an Android? You, did you hear the quality of that? Because <laughs> she does. <laughs> no. I've texted her. And she it, There's right. like this weird sect of like New York Queens that all have Androids. And I was like, how Bob. do you live in like the greatest city of the world and still send green fucking bubbles? Bob the drag queen. <laughs> And we'll, and we'll preach queen. to you how androids are better. And I'm like, Mama, stop it. It's 2020. Yeah, y'all need yeah. to get with it. Anytime we all used to tour and we would have to use a fucking WhatsApp group message because of Bob's android. <laughs> oh. I'd be like... Well, Rock, Rock has an android. Right. I was Damn. like, oh, let's FaceTime. She's like, I can't do that. Girl. Yeah. But the picture quality, yeah. That's what they all say. And it's not... Okay, okay. I'm not getting into this. We have bigger things to worry about in the world, and we're sitting over here complaining about our friends who have androids. Right. People don't have phones. Yeah. There are people with corona, Shay. Yeah. But that's why we're here tonight, to get together and complain over our favorite show. <laughs> <laughs> Is everybody using the hand sanitizer? Yeah. Is everybody washing their hands at the bar? Thank you. Is that where you usually wash I your hands? Doubt that. At the bar? <laughs> Yes. Um, it's like right there I in like use the your tap spit. water. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, we have a cocktail server. All right, it's not a talk back. Uh, we have a cocktail servers walking around. Uh, they can get you drinks. They can get you food. Uh, and also, after the show, uh, we are doing a uh, Q&A. Uh, and then we are doing a meet and greet at 10 o'clock. There will also be performances at 11.30 and uh, 12.30. Okay? Boom. All right. Um, let's see. Uh... Should we do a shot? Oh, yes, I would love yes. to drink it. Oh my god, look. Oh, RuPaul's oh, look. Drag Race Bacon. Has anyone Woo! been yet? Have you guys been to uh, Drag Race Live? 
Oh, um, oh I, I did. When you, you went? One day. Yeah, yeah. What, we, oh, we, yeah were, you guys we were, were there. Everything. It was fucking phenomenal. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it was the first time ever they were doing it, and no, t- no shades towards the other one, but Venji is a fucking star. Oh, yeah, she is. Like, Doesn't it she, is, like, come down Benji from the ceiling? Venji turns it on a pole. The, the choreography, pole. the outfits, like, she commands the stage. It is the Venji tour. It's beautiful. Come through, Venji. Yeah. Miss Venji. Detox, what dates are you going to be there? Pardon? What dates are you going to be Oh, in I a... said no. Oh. Oh! Say, you know, are you... Do it? I wish I wouldn't have now, though, bitch. I probably would have had a gig. I, I, I know! I would have had a home with a gig for a few months. <laughs> Shit! Yeah, it you was... Didn't, you didn't want to do it? Uh, well, the thing is, is it sounds enticing to be in one place at, for, for right. one time for three months. But I don't know if I could commit to three months. I get, I get bored pretty easy, yeah. and I feel like doing the same show five nights a week would, would get a little too monotonous for me. You'd sleep with I was every like, boy I could do it for like a month, maybe. Yeah. I could do it for like, you know, a few week engagement. I also would like to know who's there because it's like, like... Oh? Yeah. I mean, granted, I get along with most of the girls, but there's a, you know, there's a yeah. certain sisterhood if, you, if you're with your bitches. Yeah. It makes everything so much easier. Yeah. And it True. doesn't feel like work, but I, I, I talked to my assistant about it and he was like, I was like, should I do it? It sounds like, a, you know, it would be great to be in one place for a while. He was like, you're going to fucking kill yourself. You'd be so bored. You would get so over wearing the same thing. Well, there's so one over. thing to be in one place for a while and yeah. be in Vegas for a while. Well, that's the other thing. Vegas is fucking gross. Yeah. <laughs> Vegas I like Vegas not... for a weekend, but bitch, if I was in Vegas for three months, I would die. Girl. It is so dirty and so dusty and so smoky <laughs> and so hot. They wanted me there for the summer. I said, bitch, woo, yeah, no. Yeah. no. I don't I... do well. My silicone melts. I won't do well. <laughs> ah! yeah. The first That's time why I, I went... like it here, where it's nice and cold and I'm preserved. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the first time I went to Vegas, I... I had big expectation because, I, again, I come from France. So I went there and I was like, oh my God, the Sin City is going to be amazing. After two days, <laughs> I went back to the Flamingo Hotel and there was this very old, overweight lady on her motorized chair, <laughs> asleep, with her cigarette in her mouth, <laughs> playing a game. And I was like, I need to get the fuck out of here. It really is like our fanciest trailer park. But isn't park. that Vegas, though? For real. That's, Vegas, That's though. very Vegas. That's ve- and Vegas people, like people who live in Vegas, it's a spe- it takes a special breed of people who like live It's kind of like Vegas. Florida in it's that like way. It's like Florida. Yeah. Where if you Maybe go- that's also oh, why Francisco. I have a dusty. <laughs> it's because you just go there to no shirt, no shoes, no problem for the rest of your life and just like hang with your belly out and like, you know. Yeah, and they have a whole now other- you Brown talk city. about it now I'm getting enticed to go you're like yeah. now I want to go to Vegas <laughs> damn but yeah. you know what the spas are really nice in Vegas yeah yeah like all the casinos like all the like really nice resorts. they have these really nice spas that are like super cheap and you can get like a day pass and get like pampered for like just a little bit of money spas so. are good shopping is good yeah I also kind of have a gambling problem. I get really drunk and I like to play. I like to play. Yeah. I hate gambling because I don't like I to lose. I hate it because it's like literally I walk in and I'm like, here's my money, just burn it. <laughs> yeah. Because I love to play, um, what is? Back. Roulette. I love to play. Ooh. Mayhem got me addicted to roulette. So whenever we're together, she would. it's awful. And I throw like uh, like $100 on the table and then <laughs> I win really good and then I lose it all because I'm like, I want to roll. Put everything on black and go. <laughs> They're like, fuck you, girl. The thing I love about <laughs> Vegas is the bartender that you're at. Can I say something really quick? Please yeah. do about that runway. Well, not even about the runway. Listen, I know that it's very awkward for us to watch Sherry Pie compete with everything that's going on. I think we call However, her. However, we, we call her Allison now. Allison. <laughs> it's just easier. <laughs> I I sense even just being here in the crowd, some like people wanting to clap, but not even the, yeah. because that look was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. and uh, yes. you wanted yeah. to like, but I feel like people are like, I was even the same way. Like I was gonna be like, oh yes, but oh yeah. And and, and just and, because we know what's going on doesn't yeah. mean we can't also just like appreciate the work that they're putting into what they're doing. And it's, I have a. Because there's so many other have, people that contributed to exactly. that, too. Right. I have a theory. Designers, you need, wig you makers. Need, you need to go beyond Sherry, and you need to think of the designers like Florence Dilly, yes. Mar- Marco Wigs, Love her. that have invested weeks and weeks of hard work to make Sherry Pie Sherry Pie on the yes, show. Agreed. And if you have a hard time with her, just focus on those people that deserve yes. that spotlight. Yes. Exactly. They, deserve, they deserve it. And, and when I see RuPaul's Drag Race official Instagram literally not showing Sherry Pie's work, 
I don't feel bad for her, but I feel heartbroken for the designers that are right. behind. Yes, exactly. Because yeah. their hard work well, is even, not being showed. And they they feel a certain way about like, well, all of this work that I put in, I don't even I don't know if I can even Celebrate show it and, it. and yeah. share it because people are going to react a certain way to it. And it's un really unfortunate for all kinds of people that go far beyond her and what and what she's done with yeah. all the people involved. So yeah. yes. you can, if you like what she's wearing, y'all can clap. It's yeah, okay. Clap. clap. I'm going to chastise you for it. No, I'm right. kidding. <laughs> and follow Florence Dilly. She's behind she's most amazing. of the looks. She's, she's really amazing. Good. I work with her all the time. She's a really talented person. I really think that yeah. you know people should give her her credit because she yeah. works really hard and, and she's she, a and great she's person. Been, she's been having a really hard time since, yeah. since the whole story oh, came out. Absolutely. Um, who were you guys' uh, favorite runway looks? Yell them out. Nikki. Jan. Jan was great. I love Jan. Nikki. I, Nikki. Girl, same. That's the thing. I, when I saw Jen, I was like, work, bitch. Okay, but Fuck I... Fuck my Cinderella I loved, look. I loved yours. I loved Jan's and I really loved Gigi Good's. Like, yep. I love the Oliver yeah. Buttons, and yes. I loved that orange hair that looks like she could have been one of the strippers at the Players Club. Yeah. You know? <laughs> like, that's very that tea. Right. Like, the, like, like uh -uh. the multi-layer flip, I was just all uh -huh. like, that would be worn by some, like, stripper-ass 90s bitch. You? Me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I literally was, like, making notes. I was like, okay. Yeah. Uh, who, uh, what did you guys think of Heidi in Closets? I loved a little Prince booty hole cutouts. Right. I was like, thank that you for cute. that. We needed that. Yeah. Who were your least favorites? I'm going to fucking kill you, you fucking cunts. <laughs> <laughs> tacky, tacky, tacky gay people. The dolls are fighting. Dahlia. Dahlia's was kind of uh, bland. Uh, well, yeah. da okay, to her defense, her look looked more beautiful in real life than on TV. Okay. I think the, the colors are so dull. Dull, yeah. Sometimes dull, the TV whatever. doesn't. Do me. Yeah, it doesn't uh, translate it just, well. It, it looked better in real life. Yeah, I w like. And, and speaking of color, I would have liked a Widow Von Dues more if she had like chosen like a more saturated, bright color because yeah. it was like this weird maroon that I was just all like, it didn't translate. Yeah, it was like well. brown, but then the bright clown of it all, and it yeah. just didn't really. I liked rocks. Rocks was rocks, so, yeah. rock. Oh my god, that was I so great. That was so yeah. cute. Loved it. Well, yeah. fun fact: Rock's wig almost made me trip right before heading oh. to the stage. Oh. <laughs> set up. It was a set up. Yep. Yeah. Showgirls. By the way, I love your little lilac beret. I keep looking at it. I know you look adorable. Yes, yeah. Jazz. You gotta go home without it. That's Just Jazz. She's really cool. Jazz. We love her. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, and that's my beret from now on. Um, <laughs> she's like, bitch, try. She's like, yeah, try me, bitch. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Uh, yep, Gigi's. I had. I love Gigi's. What do we think? Uh, oh, uh, Jan. Oh, we're back. Okay. Uh, eh, eh. All right. Uh, if you guys will uh, uh, help me out here, uh, it is uh, Nikki's birthday. So, happy birthday to you. You're gonna make me cry. Happy Stop. Birthday to you. Don't cry. It's from Jewel Osco. Happy birthday. From Molly's. Oh, those are the good ones. Nikki doll. Nikki. Happy birthday. The theater kids here. Nikki! Happy birthday. Wish big. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah, I will. All right, oh. does anyone here work at Fridays? Happy, happy birthday Welcome from all of us to you. Happy, happy birthday. Um, all right, first question. Thank what? you, that was sweet. Yes, That's really good. enjoy. Yeah. Can I say one more thing before we do questions? What, what, what was <laughs> what was Massage thinking? Is that it? Well, that. Okay. The gluten done fucked with her head. Um, Gigi wow. Good in that challenge looks like Keith Morrison from Dateline NBC. Did she not? If Nobody knows who Keith Morrison is except for oh. Gina and me. Okay, Clint Eastwood. She looked like Clint Eastwood in that challenge, and I was cracking up. No one knows who Clint Eastwood I is I don't either. know. I know who Clint Eastwood is. Oh, an old white person. She looked like an old white man. Yeah, I know, I'm, I, I know it's my <laughs> birthday, but I'm not understand. that old. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, I have to disagree. I mean, the, the way they were loving that challenge, and I, or, or they were loving that group, and I was like, that was, that was so wild. painful to I'm watch. Like, yeah. Over, I'm like so over Mich Michelle coming for Crystal Method and her makeup. 
Like, yeah, for right? Instance, we love Trixie Mattel, but she does the same fucking face every fucking time. Ooh! And they're all like, we stand. Well, so she's changed it now. It's more mod for the new album. Yeah, she wears brown eyes sometimes now, but we, you know what I'm saying? Like, brown it's eyes. still the same. And I feel like Crystal Method, like in that first episode alone, did like such different. Like, she painted herself completely red. Like, yeah. she switched it. And like, yeah. it's good I agree. to have a signature. So, when when, the, when she started saying this, I was like, she is the only bitch that literally changed her whole skin. Right. Absolutely. To red. And fun fact, the the first episode we had only 30 minutes to change between each looks. See. So from spring wow. to fall was 30 minutes. From fall to the main runway was 30 minutes. Those first the episodes bitch turned were herself wild. red they are. in 30 minutes. And they read her for it. Red, red. They read her for being red? <laughs> I liked it. Your French humor translates for me. Thank you. I just feel like they're, I don't know. I feel like they say like harsh critiques of girls and then they, without anything really fundamentally changing, like they said about like Kim being, oh, Kim's learned how to walk now. I'm like, nothing has changed. You know what I mean though? All right, ladies. All right. what do we think about the results of that lip sync? Yes. Well, how do you feel? <laughs> how do you feel watching that? Well, I love the lip sync, but I didn't really see much of myself doing the lip sync. Yeah. How, how do you feel? Do you think they, were, they edited it? part of it out or how do you, how no, do you I mean it's it was it was a hard lip sync because it is the first one of the season so all of us are like I don't mind not winning but I mind leaving first and yeah. you can yeah. see that in our eyes like we were looking at each other like bitch you out did, <laughs> did, and I got the last word did Dahlia yes. literally <laughs> Dahlia literally just stormed out she just was like fuck oh, this shit and, and honestly they filtered a lot of it because really they were like Dahlia Sashay, oh, and she was starting walking oh. out already. They're like, oh! <laughs> she was at the house, right. Yep. She was not, she was having none of it. Yeah. They had to, like, full, full disclosure, uh, she was, they were, they Don't actually, break your tried, they were, they were <laughs> trying to convince her for 30 minutes to give the last speech in the workroom because she uh, didn't even want to talk to them. Yeah. She was like, no, I'm out, I'm out. And they're like, no, uh, you gotta regret that. We yeah. had someone from the past season that did this, just regretting it now. Who did it? I don't know. Well, I do, but I won't say it. Uh, and they were, and, and they Whisper it in my ear and I'll say it. Oh. Yeah, say it. I don't know who By it was. By all means, do it. Who was it? I don't know either. I'm like, what bitch didn't do it? Who Tactics. Did, who did that? Okay. Maria who Balenciaga. Said that? Uh, who and said that? Who had been who said that? that? Who said that? Who said that? <laughs> okay. Who we'll, said it? We'll get back to that. Um, oh, can we bring up our graphic? Uh, next week, uh, oh, oh, those we pancakes look have, good. Right, we have a little uh, surprise. So. I love pancakes. Uh, we have previously advertised Ooh. our lineup, but we just added Brooklyn Heights. Yeah. So, uh, we have uh, Plastique Tiara is going to be here. Yeah. Uh, Dahlia Sin is going to come, but she's not going to say bye. And uh, <laughs> Rock yeah. and Rock um, Sakra, our queen, is going to be here. So please Woo! be here. Also, a uh, big right. thank you to everyone who came out tonight. I had to say, going into tonight, we were all very scared of how all this uh, nonsense was going to affect us. And as you can see, it's clearly gotten very busy. So we're very thankful for you guys for trusting us to put this show on. So thank you. a big thank you for guys for coming out tonight. Thank you for, for putting your safety last. We appreciate you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right. Thank um, you for disregarding our safety. We appreciate you. Uh, we are going to jump into a QA. and uh, a The show should be coming back in any second, but we're going to jump into a Q&A. Uh, and oh. we asked, uh, let's, oh, limit, let's limit oh, the questions girl. about the yeah. Sherry Pie incident because this isn't necessarily the place to be talking about that, and we don't really want to talk about uh, allegations of that nature in a public you know, in a mixed setting like that, uh, it's not necessarily appropriate. Uh, but uh, if you want to know more about it, you can read it online. So, yeah, there's that. <laughs> what is this? Is this another McDonald's commercial? That's such a oh, Lord Quibi. Oh. Quibi show. Oh. Quibi show. No, All right, go. we're back. Hey. All right, I'm gonna come into the. Uh, yeah, come to me. Uh, we're gonna do some audience questions. Uh, so uh, raise your hand if you want to ask a question. Uh, uh, but just wait till I come over to you, so you don't have to keep them up the whole time. Uh, keep the questions. Raise your hand, but don't raise your hand. Yeah. Keep yeah. the questions respectful. Um, hello, what's your question? Uh, my question is: uh, Do you prefer one premiere or two? 
Oh yeah, do you prefer the double premiere or just the, the regular one? I like a double premiere with no elimination on both premieres. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm really happy with the format that we had. Yeah. I wish we knew they had no elimination on our episode because then, you know, it would have been more enjoyable doing it. Absolutely. But, but they don't I, want I, you to enjoy yourselves. That's not why oh, you're there. Right. <laughs> no. They're like, the show is not for you to enjoy. It's yeah. for us. So I, I love the format that we had. Um, what about you guys? I love the double. I liked it, too, because I think yeah. you get a chance to know everyone a little bit better. Yeah. And I feel like, too, as someone who has been in a situation where there's, like, 13 girls on the first episode, everyone's kind of fighting for attention, and it's, yeah. like, so hectic. But I felt like everyone yeah. was a little bit more chill because they're all like, I think I can get my camera time. Yeah. Right. yeah. I really, really enjoyed it. I thought it was, like, super captivating. I love that we got to know a little bit more about the girls. And I also really enjoyed like the episode where they all come together. Obviously, tonight where it's the first time they're all together. It's like yeah. seeing who you liked on the first episode, who you liked on the second episode, how yeah. everything's going to interact. Yeah. yeah, I liked it. I think it I really, I really think that in our season, there's really, I mean, there is plenty of losers, but there is really, <laughs> there is really no name them. There is really no losers because we all had our time. Yeah. And at, at the end of the day, when you're leaving the bar tonight, you know every single one of us. And I yeah, think because true. we had a split premiere, yes. you get to connect with every one of us. And it was a definite response to what happened last season, where it was like four episodes deep, and we're like, I don't even Ooh. know anyone's yeah. names. Like, it was just chaotic. Yeah. yeah. And to, I mean, I also, I mean, I know the other, only other season that did it was six. Yeah. But this one stands out in such a different way because I honestly forget, I forgot that they even did that. Yeah, with, with season six, so it's, it was nice to like see this and see everyone kind of um, have a moment to shine individually for their first episodes, and it, it's, it's great to see that the judges want to get to know them more. True, yeah, I'm like sure. As, I mean, it's overwhelming for them. <laughs> it's overwhelming for us. Next question. Oh, yes. Hi, what's your question? Detox, you're always my favorite. You're my auntie. I've loved you Figured. for years. Yeah, I fucking adore you. But you are just like me. You fucking stand (laughs) up, Jesus Christ! For a year, we know each other, bitch. Yes, I know, bitch. Yes, bitch. But your question, bag. But my question. Okay, so you're an only child. What else? (laughs) Oh, an only child that needs water. (laughs) Stand up, diva. And I don't know. Maybe she should sit down. My question is: How is this virus affecting the girls? And how if I have any shows? Like, I want to support y'all. Well, I mean, it's, <laughs> I, it's, it's so new, and it's a, it's a, it's a weird... Wait, you're asking Detox how the virus affects us? <laughs> Point on how the doll where me? the virus affected you. Right. Tell me, Detox. Oh. And we're back! It's always awkward when they say those things, and you know that they already went home. Can I, can I give a really quick answer to that question, like a half ass answer? Yeah, do it. If yeah. you want to support any of the girls that may or may not be affected by what's going on, you could buy their merch. My uh, Most importantly for me, I, I feel for the girls that are working, all of the local starving artists that are out there that don't have the platform that we have, that oh. are also affected by this, all of your bar staff, anyone who's out there that doesn't necessarily have a savings, that are gonna be affected by this because of the fucking crazy American population that are, are losing their shit for no reason. Mm. Um, <clears throat> support them, try to get out to their shows, give them some fucking money, buy their merch if they have it, and support your local artists. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. And the girls from season 12, because I know how much it takes to invest into DragCon and to pour all that money into merch and things and to not have the opportunity to like go out there yeah. and sell that and make that coin back after making such a huge investment. I can only imagine what it's like. So definitely support your season 12 girls too. Whew. And we have some fucking cute merch. You do. It's not like you're buying some like awful shit. Like it's pretty cute. But that being said, I agree with you. No matter how hard and frustrating it is for us, you, we all we all look at queens at the end of the day, mm-hmm. and we got on the show, and we have this amazing spotlight. Our spotlight got dimmed for a little bit, but at the end of the day, our situation is still better than any local queen. So if you can Venmo any girl that you like in your city, <laughs> like like the other queen that works in the same venue, but her. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> 
Ryan Eggers. Um, all right, do we have any more questions about how poor I am? Hi. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, uh. Stand up. Watch your drink, Diva. Watch out. What's that doing there? Well, why don't well, you come, come closer a little, you know. the question, okay, too. Okay, right, right, right. What's your question? Uh, 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 corona. I hold it. So I was on the cruise with Detox, with the Kesha Cruise. I'm so sorry. I'm asking all three of you, if you were to go on a cruise with someone on season 12, other than Nikki Doll, because obviously you would say that, other than Nikki, who would you go on a cruise with from season 12? I feel like Widow Bunch. I could go on a cruise with somebody. Michelle. All three of you. Michelle. All three of you people who were on TV. Uh, <laughs> Michelle. Michelle? Michelle? She's really fun to cruise with. I've done two Does she cruises. drink? She doesn't even drink. She doesn't drink, but she's just really fun. Mm. Even though you don't, you wouldn't think so. She's really fun because we just sit and we play. No, we don't think we so. We play board <laughs> games. Yeah. We play heads up and board games and we just read each other. Uh, While she tells me that I have a problem. Nice. <laughs> it's like therapy. Right. So your intervention cruise is your answer. Okay, yeah. Uh, <laughs> On sale now. Intervention cruise. What do you talk? <laughs> um, if I was going to go... Wait, did you say what? Oh, oh, and there. we're back. We'll get... All right. How was the episode? Excellent. Excellent. Um, all right, we are going to jump right back into uh, Q&A. Uh, we do have uh, some people left over here, but we have tons of people back here. So uh, if you see empty seats, you guys can uh, pile in, okay? Because we're going to go another, like, 20 minutes or so. So if you see empty seats, you can come Boom. hang out. All right. Uh, uh, all right. What? Oh, what? the question, uh, who from season 12 would you want to party with? I have partied with Widow Von Du. That bitch can fucking drink. Talking to the mic. She can drink. I, I did. I actually. I thought about it after you asked me if I worked with anybody. I worked with her at Hamburger Mary's in Long Beach a, a couple months ago, um, and she can drink. Yes. Yes. And Gigi, I think, I can also. Can Gigi party? Oh, I mean, she's part of the House of Avalon girl. They're fucking wild. Girl, yeah. Yes. They're amazing. <laughs> uh, what about you, Shay? Anybody from season twelve you would party with on a, a, a cruise? Um, uh, I would say uh, Gigi Good and <laughs> um. <laughs> I still have my gun. No, wait, remember the question was anyone besides you. Obviously, you're all. Gonna I don't be... speak English. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> She's like, je ne parle pas anglais. Oh, um, voulez-vous? No. Do you oh, speak, well. say Do you that speak French? Uh, écoute, tu veux que je te parle en français? Tu parles français? Uh, je parle un petit peu français. She's like, yeah, let's not get, je parle, let's not get carried away. I took three years of French one and two. So. Prove it. <laughs> uh, yeah. She's I, right. She's like, I here flopped. I go. Yeah. Every fucking American always tell me that, oh, I took French in high school. And I'm like, oh, sure. They're like, voulez-vous coucher avec moi? And I'm like. It's like, yeah, you were really? gay and you listened to Lady Marmalade. We all did. <laughs> um, hello, what's your question? Okay, so my question is for all of you. Whenever you watch the show, do you ever get frustrated? Like, are there parts that they completely leave out that really frustrate you, or...? Sometimes, start. sometimes I think that Thank the you. critiques that the girls get from judges feel a little manufactured, and that's where I get frustrated, because, like, for instance, like, with Michelle, having, like, worked with Michelle outside of the show and then, like, watching her on the show give certain critiques. I'm like, I know that you love weird, out-of-the-box drag, so it feels a little, like, forced sometimes to watch you be like, um, I want you to switch it up. Because I'm like, you don't feel like that kind of girl to me. Well, it's also, like, on the first episode where they're like, I feel like I don't know you. No shit, you don't fucking know me. It's yeah. The first, <laughs> it's the fucking first challenge. <laughs> And yeah. I, I, get to know me, asshole. Right. But and I think I think that when you when you get on that main stage, it's there is one there's you, you do the challenge, that's one thing, but also they have a plan. They figure out who you are and they figure out what they're gonna ask you to either break you or to, to build you up. And so when they ask you some questions, at the end of the day you're competing against other people and sometimes when they ask you that question you're like that has nothing to do with the challenge i just did you're asking me this because you want me to be disturbed by your question and that sometimes can be disturbing i do feel like michelle is also the one who's kind of like they bring her like over to the storyboard and go okay girl this is what we need you to yeah these are the storylines we want to keep pushing so it's like, we're going to like this person for three more episodes, and then we're going to notice that all the critiques we gave her uh, were uh, changed her, and then we just edit her better. That's how I feel watching the show. 
right? I will yeah. not confirm or deny. Like, they, I really, you know, I don't know. Like I said with the Kim thing, it's like she walked the same the whole time. They just stopped showing her feet so long. Like, <laughs> you finally, you've come so far in this competition. I'm like, gal, it's six days later. Like, yeah. in real time, nothing <laughs> happened. You just stopped showing her clomping. Okay. Hi, what's your question? First of all, you all look gorgeous. It's Thank very you. dark in the room. Thank what you. is your favorite challenge? Like, personally, has been your favorite challenge? And Nikki, you can maybe pick one from another episode since you don't want to give any spoilers. Are you saying I'm leaving too early to give an answer? No, no. I don't, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm, kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. So just, like, <laughs> favorite... She can't say anything from another episode. Yeah. It's... What, of this season? No, well, she's got an NDA. You'll any. see it when you see it. <laughs> what are your favorite <laughs> challenges? If you had to pick one, I be love, You've done I two love seasons. the wrestling challenge from season four. Oh, God. The wrestling <laughs> challenge was Lord. hilarious. Look, Cheerleading challenge? <laughs> what, no, that was fucking awful. <laughs> I, I, I literally just stumbled upon this like group of wrestling drag queens in New Orleans called Chokehold. Yeah. And like I like went through this like long like journey like today, and I was just like, damn, I want to do wrestling and drag. No shit. Because I also watch Glow, and I just like love that oh shit. Oh, my God, and Glow! All the fucking I was like, it is drag, so I would love to see some more wrestling. I like that. I really liked the first episode of this season. The runway. With the, the, the rap. Spring fall. Huh? The rap. The rap one. I love it. Because oh. it, was, it, yeah. it made them do so much fucking shit in one. I mean, both I'm, episodes I'm made them do so much shit in one episode. Right. I was like, that's fucking fierce. Yeah. I, and also, the girls, I'm sure, weren't expecting to be thrown into that big of a thing. I mean, five looks in one episode. Girl, writing, right. recording a song. Five yeah, choreography. In the first episode. I was like, Damn. I was like straight out the bat. They were working it. I love yeah. that. Yeah, I, I, I will have to agree with Detox. I one of my favorite episodes was season seven, first episode because of the fashion. And what I liked about our season is that not only we had the fashion, but we had we had an extra difficulty to add to it. And it was fucking writing a verse for fucking Nicki Minaj. So I would have to say my first episode of my own, own season. It was pretty fucking amazing. I loved it. It was yes. good TV. Hi, what's your question? Uh, Shay, can't wait for All Stars 5. Um, <laughs> don't know where you're Oh my gosh, about. me too. Who are who's you? getting exposed tonight? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know anyone who's on it? No, they yeah, haven't not you. The oh, they haven't announced it. Yeah, yeah I, so I have no yeah, idea. I just saw it's on, on Showtime. Did you see it's on Showtime? I did see that yeah. it was on Showtime. Yeah, I'm about to really cancel my subscription. To, to watch. Um, huh. Yeah. Uh, kudos to the girls that are on All Stars. Yes. Not yes. me though. Oh, you're so nice. Yeah. Give it up for oh. Shay. She's so sweet. Yeah. Give it up from Shay. Professionalism. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, what was the question? <laughs> if you could help Heidi choose a new name, what would it be? Hide in closet. Look, I still liked Nicki Minaj's Slayana. Yes! Oh, I did good. love Slayana. I was Slayana. like, oh, no, I, I wish I named Because you could totally Slayana. turn her name into a verb. You know, she's just like, I came in here to Slayana, not Playana. <laughs> no? Okay. <laughs> Maybe uh, in All Stars. Uh, <laughs> hi, what's your Available question? Showtime. First, I want to say I'm honored to be here. I looked up to Shay and Detox for a long Fuck time. Fuck my now. drag. Uh, no, no, no. But uh, I, I want to say that I admire you, Nikki, because you represent. An immigrant story with language barriers, and that's something that I can relate to yes. and struggle with. And you slayed it tonight. You slayed yes. it tonight. Thank yes. you. Yes. Thank you. That means a lot. Yes. Uh, but my question is if there's any other drag queen from the franchise y'all would want to get to know more, who would it be and why? If you want to get one, get to know one drag queen from the franchise more, who would it be? Real. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, I would want, I have to agree with that. Like, you know, yeah. it's just like, we don't get much. And we, I'm not about to watch the master class of other, everyone else teaching how to do drag. Uh, <laughs> well, but I would love to get to know Rue a little bit more. So be nice. the thing is, uh, I would have uh, answered that the same, but I, got, I had the chance to uh, paint Pete Davidson for SNL. Yeah. And I had the incredibly um, honor to spend more than ha like an afternoon with Rue in full drag yeah. on set. So I think that I got like, we, we had like a conversation of like a full hour of yes. him giving me very useful advice. Oh wow. Like for example, he would say like, every time you would receive a hate message, just remember that those people voted for Trump. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, I should have maybe not said that. Um, oh, no, we don't <laughs> like Trump. You're in good company. We don't, yeah, yeah, we don't so like I, I, th I think that I got the chance to like uh, see uh, RuPaul outside of this filter of like, I have to be very cold and professional in and, drag race. And Ru in drag is so different than Ru out of drag. So you got to experience yeah. something that is very rare. And yeah. also, bitch, there's no filter on TV. That bitch look exactly the same she looks from up good. close. It is infuriating. Yeah. <laughs> infuriating. We could never. Yeah. No. Well, unless you shave your brows. All right. Hello. What's your question? Hi. Um, thank you, Nikki, for being the foreign friend representation that I need. I'm oh. also from Europe. But my Where question, are you from? From Spain. Spain. Yeah. But um, my, my question is that I heard that you painted Pete Davidson face in SNL for uh -huh. that sketch we drew. And yeah. How was that? Uh, well, first of all, I helped him talk. Oh. Tell us oh. are the rumors everything. Oh. It's what Ariana Grande said true. Right. Well, I'm just going to say, on one, just say one thing. Show us on the microphone. I needed both hands. Hey. Oh. Hey double tug, double tug. I would suck that weird man's weird dick. <laughs> Maybe I did. <laughs> No, I'm Ooh. kidding, I'm kidding. Said every gay. <laughs> no, uh, okay, this guy is honestly one of the most chill. When I say chill, he smells like weed. Oh. Like crazy. Okay. He is such, such an amazing uh, human being. And uh, the first thing that he told me was, uh, the, the thing that I hate the most about my job is the makeup chair. And he had to stand, like sit yeah. on that fucking chair for two hours and a half. But yeah, it was great. It was great. He was, it was amazing. It was, it was a chill. fun episode. It was like, I was really fortunate because it was my birthday and I got tickets to go oh, yeah, and see SNL. So we got to like, right, go you were there. get like a backstage tour. I got to see the wig room, bitch. And as for a drag queen to see yes. all those hand ventilated wigs, yeah. I was just all like, if one goes missing. I follow the girl who makes those on Instagram and she's just making like Janet Reno's hair. Like she's yeah. making like realistic hair and it's yeah. not like anything cartoonish. It's just supposed to look real. It's insane. I got to see yeah. Alec Baldwin's Trump wig in yeah. person, oh my and that God. was really nice. They asked me if I wanted to try it on. I was just all like, I will politely decline. Did you call <laughs> right. the Vivian? Scott <laughs> yeah, I was like, the Vivian would take this. <laughs> uh, okay, hi, come over here. What's your question? Hi, I love you, Powerpuff all of you Girls guys skirt. look a fucking amazing, first of all. You, you are too. slaying you. my entire life. Happy birthday, Nikki. Thank um, you so much. My question is, though, do you like my earrings? Um, what are your earrings? You're wearing the same earrings. Oh, you oh, guys are wearing I the get same. it. Oh, my God. I, uh, I do own an account on AliExpress. Yes, yes I do. <laughs> and I do love your earrings. <laughs> Anything else? You just want to call her out. Okay. <laughs> There's like two people back okay. there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to work my way over. There is I'm another a, side of the room. There's two tea. arms over there from the same human body okay, over there. I'm coming. I'm coming. Hi, what's your question? You took it back? Okay, hi, what's your question? Oh, great. These people are just fucking there. with me. Okay, are you just waving at me? What's going on? Okay, then stand up, asshole. <laughs> hey. And don't touch the mic. Coronavirus. Um, hey, Shay. Hi. Uh, where do you get your style from? I think it's very cool. It's very nice. Oh, wow. That, um, uh, I would say, like, uh, it's literally... I don't know. It's just like, I feel like it, style is something that you're like born with. Yeah. It like, cause it's just like, what you wear on your body is just like a reflection of like your emotions and how you feel as a person. Like, so how do you feel? Chaotic. Today was a crazy day. So like, I was like trying to get my bag and shit. And like, it's Friday the my, 13th. Chaotic for real. Top. So like, yeah, no, I feel like my look today is like kind of like a reflection of like my whole ass mood. So it, it changes, it evolves. <laughs> It's just like really like a reflection of like my environment and what I'm feeling. But you went to school for costume, right? Costume. I did. Yeah. I went to school for costume design. Um, best money I ever wasted. <laughs> um, Columbia. But hey, it's, it's like, it's whatever. <laughs> I, 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 it's a hard question to answer. Where do you guys get your no. style from? I, I, my mind. Yeah, it's just like, it's something that's just like in there. It's like, and then like seeds will plant and then they like blossom and grow into other ideas. But yeah. it's just like, you can get inspiration from literally anywhere. Ali if you're open I get to my it. style from Akira. AliExpress. Hell right. yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, hi, what's your question? Uh, I'll be over there in a second, guys. Hi, what's your question? Here, stand up, Diva. Um, so my question is for Nikki. 
I know I, you've talked a little bit about how you felt that the language barrier was a challenge for you, um, but my question is, how do you feel, if at all, the show treated you differently as a result? Because I noted, like you mentioned the hummus moment. Um, I also noticed that Carson gave you the critique of like, throw in the French, and well, you did do that in your verse, and yeah. the subtitles said you were unintelligible, so that was fun. Um, so just like, and I like, I. No, I'm a French speaker. I understood what you said, so I was like, "What is that? Why did they do her like that?" So, do you feel you. like the show treated you differently as a result of the language barrier? Well, I don't think that they they intended to be like um, mean or offensive. I think that the, like the biggest struggle for me is that when I came uh, auditioning for the competition, is that I auditioned as a French person. The thing that I forgot to learn was what American people think of French people. And that is a big thing, is that I, I came as like, well, I'm French, so I guess I know what French means in America. But apparently people think that Sacre Bleu, Oui Oui Baguette, and all that bullshit that none of us fucking say. No one says Sacre Bleu in, in France. Like, no one. Les Miserables says it. You know what I mean? Like, we, I've never said that once from zero to 12, ever. So I think the, the hardest part for me was to keep my integrity as a French person instead of being a caricature as what American people think of, of French people, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And it was hard because you guys have this amazing cartoon animal that is a French guy, like what, I don't even know how to... Are you talking about animal. Pepe Le Pew? Muzzy? It, 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 oh. Muzzy? That, that one too. It oh. drove me crazy the whole fucking season. Oh. Oh. No. <laughs> no one in France say... Huh? 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 Oh, oh, oh. So that will Sacre be a as a French person to eradicate the ha 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 bullshit. Okay? I bet you one time someone's getting fucked in the ass and they're like, oh, 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 oh. oh. Maybe. <laughs> yes, oh, I just realized that this was a jumpsuit. This is so hot. Thank did you, you find it? Can I ask you a question? Did you find, um, <laughs> as I jump right into the question, did you find. You know, the, I'll, I'll need this bag though. Oh, honey, you can, here you can have a bag. Right it's making me itch. <laughs> allergic to feathers. No. Did you find it difficult for your humor to translate with the other girls? Because I know um, the few French people that I do know, they have a very, dr I mean, dry, sarcastic sense of humor that can, which is, I think, a lot of the misconceptions of French people for American people is they think that they're assholes, when really they're just like... Sarcastic. Sarcastic and dry. Yeah, it's, it, it's very true, actually. I, I didn't really care about how the other girls would, like, take my sense of humor, but I've put a, an incredible amount of stress on myself thinking what can I say on American TV? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, political, correct, political correctness in America is so... Like, people are w way more woke in America than okay. we are in, in our country. Mm -hmm. And it was hard for me to be like, can I say this without being like, oh my God, she's so insensitive and racist and all of that. So, having to filter yourself so much on a daily basis, remove your spontaneity. If that's an American word, but oh, I yeah, just yeah. right. Okay, good. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my God, I speak we got English. you. Yes. Ah, she speaks English. So yeah, I, I I think that that was the the hardest part for me was just to to say something without double thinking it. Right. You know. But double fisting, we love. I always double fist and <laughs> look at my lady's hand. As long as you use Perel. A double fist from mm. Nikki Doll is just a men fist from Sherry. <laughs> oh, Sherry. Oh! <laughs> Oh no! Jesus Hi guys! Me. Oh so Jesus! No! <laughs> Alison, Excuse I'm so me sorry. while I disassociate. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> All right, well. Why did I, say I have no clue. I'm, I'm traumatized. It was the shots. We've it's been, the shock, yeah. We've been drinking. Okay. We've been drinking. Should we do more shots? Sh can we yeah, do, another do another round of, of uh, iced tequila? Yum. Yes, ice, <laughs> ice cold shaken Patron shots with Patron, pineapple please. bags, please. Thank you very okay. much. And water uh, for me. I'll get you over there. The I see you. I'm going to be over here for a second, and I'll get over to you. I see you. Uh, hello, what's your question? Hi, it's um, mm -hmm. a compliment to Shea Kool-Aid and then a question as well. So, Shea, I saw your 
Black History Month thing on Instagram, and I 100% stand. Oh, thank you thanks. for being a black queer icon. Season nine was my first season, and you were my queen oh, since then. Oh, thank you. Thank so, you. <laughs> you, were actually, you were actually my queen, too. I was Team Shea kool oh, all the fucking way. <laughs> yes. We're all of our queens. Thank you. Yes. Can't so, wait for July. I have a very generic. <laughs> I have a very generic question, man. What was your least favorite challenge throughout all of RuPaul's Drag Race? Not just necessarily your season. The Shakespeare challenge on season seven. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. yeah, that yeah. was awful. Just awful. Now, was it the challenge or the cast? <laughs> oh. Oh. What about the? Just, what about the know. bad right. bipolar? What about the bad bipolar thing they did, where the girls had to come up with their like alter ego thing? You know what I'm talking about? Oh, oh their saboteur! Oh, yeah. oh Jesus, oh, that was awful. Yeah. Everything on All Stars yeah. One was just like, eh, yeah, we had this left over. Yeah, it was very tonight was pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. I will not yeah. deny or confirm. <laughs> Um, hi, what's your question? Although the answer is obvious, who are some Chicago queens that we're ready to see grace our screens? Jesus Christ, like they need to put more Chicago Girl, girls on what the is show. That? What the fuck? I feel like we have such good queens here. I would love to see Tranica. Yes! I would love to see her. I would love to see I don't Lucy Stool. I would love to see my daughter Bambi Banks. Yes. I would love to see yes. Miss Turtle. Yes! So many amazing girls. Oh my God, I just I, like, like, Tenderoni! Right. Tenderoni! Tenderoni! Let's get a drag king up in the mix. Tenderoni! Um, yeah. such a great pool of talent here, and I just hope that they get the opportunity to show it on such a grand scale as RuPaul's Drag Race, because I feel like so many Put girls Mimi in this community Marks deserve on. it. Yes. <laughs> Did you say Mimi Marks? Fuck yes, bitch. Yes. Right. Well, they got to change the fucking rules, and here we Hello. are. Back to square Ooh. one. Hi. Oh, shots! Oh, my shots. God. I'm so sorry. I I'm going to shake. We have to Guys, do shots. Guys, I didn't have dinner yet. I'll get you. Same. I'm get her more cupcakes. You'll be like, happy I'm birthday. I'll be like, Bleh. Welcome. Happy Are there birthday. More cupcakes Welcome to Chicago. <laughs> all yeah, right. Can we have the cupcakes back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all right, we're going to do about five more questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see you guys. Don't worry. We're going to do them, but we're going to do this. Cheers. Thank you guys for coming out tonight. Salud. Cheers. We appreciate you. Cheers. Bon Cheers. anniversaire. Happy birthday. Merci beaucoup, chérie. Pierre Escar, go. I forgot about Pierre Escar. Oh my God, right? Okay, so I think a reason that we think these things, these cliches, oh, oh, could be Escargo. easily explained by Pierre Escargo from this show called All That. So it was played by Keenan Thompson, and he sat in a bathtub, and he just did stereotypical French things. Yeah. We'll show you. You will be I'm offended. You will understand. be offended. I'm just <laughs> trying to understand what have we done to you guys. He literally, I think, coined the... <laughs> because oh, 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 yeah. oh, That's oh, Pierre, phrase. Pierre Escargo. <laughs> While in a bathtub, wearing a raincoat, eating either like a, a block a of brie or some like uh, or a baguette. Yeah. 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 And, and where the say, fuck <laughs> does wee wee baguette comes from? Uh, yes, yes. I like bread. We like carbs here in America so much. I thought we were new for like Victor Hugo. No. Like Moulin Rouge. Yeah. No. They're like, oh, right. say we we baguette one more time. <laughs> ah. I was like, what the fuck? How many times did you have to do that sound by it? All right. Uh, Hi, what's your question? En premier, je joue anniversaire. Merci, chérie. <laughs> Um, and I have a question and a request. First of all, did you wear this outfit on purpose because you also wore it at the beginning of the episode tonight? And the request. My friends treat me crap for this because I'm also not an English speaker. I feel Can you. you say squirrel for me? That is very shady. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So I did wear this outfit because people have been reading me online saying, I don't know why the fuck you are wearing this feather necklace for the sparkle theme. You should have wear that outfit. So here it is one more time. Yeah. yeah. Oh. And uh, a squirrel. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I have one request. Can I make one request? Can I yeah, do that sure. American? Can you say Fort Lauderdale? Oh my God. Fort Lauderdale. Oh. The classiest, most glamorous place in America. Uh. 
Fort Lauderdale. Yeah. yeah. Is that good? Yeah. Yes, that's ah! good. good. You know the only you know the I name that I can't say? say? Albuquerque. Albuquerque. I can't say that. But the way you say it is so cute. Say it one Albuquerque. more time. Albuquerque. You can say it. You can like blow that into Albuquerque. my mouth. Albuquerque. Oh. Albuquerque. I, I, would, I wish that it was that. It sounds like you're saying Albuquerque and it sounds like <laughs> it, cookie it, it, I would eat. It feels like I'm saying Albert Cookie. Albert like Cookie. That. Yeah. All right. Albert, what's your question? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Cookie, Albert. Eat those cookies. Hi, my question. Um, what are y'all y'all's thoughts on the racism within the fandom of Drag Race? Or if you don't want to attack anyone in this room, just the entire community? No, that's totally fine. I'm going to let the white it. people take this one because it's <laughs> no, their problem, you know what? You know not what? mine. No, you know what? I'm actually going to answer. I'm actually going to answer this. I am deeply offended. And that's not even like me shooting my own self, but I'm deeply offended that Gigi and I are the most followed queen of season 12 and Jada Essence Hall who is bringing the same amount of fashion I had to stand up because I need to pee and it's making me, you know, I, I'm gaining time uh, Jada is bringing the same type of Instagram excellence bullshit that everybody's looking for to right, follow right. and she's at less than 100,000 followers and I, I'm coming from France, and I don't understand those type of thing. So if you follow me, if you're following Gigi, you should, you should be following every single one of us. Yes. Because it needs every one of us to create this season. Yes. Snaps to that. Yes. Yeah. The same with like, someone like Monet Exchange who fucking won All Stars who has less followers than somebody who went home halfway through their season. That's Asia. Yeah. Ridiculous. Asia. Asia who has was been... the fucking... Asia was my, my, secretly my winner. And the fact that she has less than half a million followers to me is crazy. Because she's bringing Well, you... she did kill butterflies. I mean... <laughs> I don't speak English anymore. Yeah, me. No, I'm not at a million. Girl, this is exact... Look, look. Right? Crazy, right? What? <laughs> <They're... laughs> She's going right. straight to Instagram corporate, right? It's insane because there are girls from my season that didn't even make it halfway that have like hit a million. Yes, four challenge wins. Let me remind you, four challenge Stop. wins. During my season, third queen to ever, first one to ever not win. So I'm just saying, there's something that like seems to happen. I understand that people obviously are attracted to people that they identify with. I understand that. Fuck I'm, that! I'm fuck, that I'm fuck that! If you don't identify to someone, learn how to identify to this person. Yes. Thank you! Fuck it! That's, what the, what, that's, you. Why, that's why the show is so important because you get to see people that you don't get to interfere on a daily basis. So yeah. if you don't interact or, or, or relate to her, learn how to. Can I ask? Ooh, can I ask a she question? She got y'all together, huh? Y'all got real quiet after that. I want to ask a question though, too. Do you think that it is possibly? <laughs> sorry, as I stumble my way out here. I know that. Just I mean, I can't speak to it because obviously I'm not part of the community. But I know that in in the African American community, homosexuality is still such a fucking taboo subject. Do you think that a lot of that has to do with the fact that a lot of queer people of color? are still uncomfortable with supporting other people of color who are in the queer community and outspoken about it. See, I feel like... Does that um, make sense? Yeah, no, I totally see what you're really? saying. And I know that, you know, obviously in the black community, like, it could be taboo. But if we're talking about the LGBTQIA community as a whole, you know, we still fall in the minority ca category. So there's still, like, a whole majority of people that are not contributing to our success by making right. us more visible, by following right. us, by doing that. Right. This really is, like, when it boils down to it, I hate to be this person, but I love to be this person. It's white yes. people's problem. Yes. It's y'all's problem and it's not and it's not my job to stand up here and tell you how right. to fix it yeah. because i'm not the person that created it in the first place you know right. what i'm saying so Excellent. for allies like 
these two ladies up here, anybody who's here and you understand what I'm talking about, mm -hmm. it is up to you to be able to talk and communicate to those people in your life that don't understand because right. you're the ones that can get through to them. They're not gonna listen to me the same way that they'll listen to you. Yes. So anybody that sits there and they're complacent and they don't speak up, you are just as much as a part of the problem. Amen. Yes. So, you know, just realize that the job in fixing this is up to you because you know what? I'm gonna pass it off because I'm just busy trying to survive. Right. If you wanna if you wanna be if you wanna be an ally, don't wait for someone like you to teach you how to do it. Fucking learn right. how to do it. Ooh. Love that. All right. Okay, hi. Come Where's over here. Where's the popcorn? What's your question? I'm not hungry. <laughs> uh, Pop the corn partially the for Nick Doll. Je t'aime. Je suis un uh, rendezvous. You love, you are what? Sweet on <laughs> All right, is this just gonna devolve I, into I, everyone I proving to have Rosetta Stone? What is that? <laughs> I know. What? No, I, I'm amoureux de toi aussi, chérie. Tu entends? Okay, I got hey. that. Thank you. Oh, okay. Merci. I love you too. I think that's what you said <laughs> All in right. French. Is that what you said? Yes. Good. That's all I wanted. <laughs> I love you too, baby. The question. Yes. Thank you. Please. Um, for the lip sync song, what would your preferred lip sync song um, of all time be? I think you're about to find out because I'm performing Ooh. right after this. Hello! Hey. 1130 and 1230 at Roscoe's Well, I better bring it, Tavern. <laughs> for all of you. Oh. What would your preferred lip sync What's your song favorite that hasn't song? been? I'm so Done emotional yet. by Whitney Houston. Oh, that's ah! a <laughs> right, special place side. in my heart. What about you? Who's your, what's your, yeah, D, what's your? Tripping. Hey, don't what's waste wait? those Lysol. I got to order those off freaking Amazon because they're sold out at Target. They for real are. They are. They are. Yeah. Well, I'm not putting these back in because they touch the But floor. you know what? Let me no, tell no, you no, no, no. Just put them back in. Let me tell you guys something really quick. While we're like in this toilet paper shortage, outage. If you go on Amazon Prime, you can get a bidet yep. for $45. Yep. So you can wash your asshole and cut down on paper waste in the environment. It's Be true. economical. And that, and that is French. It's true. Yes. The bidet is French. We I wrote it here first. Bidet Coulet, right? I, <laughs> my next daughter. <laughs> Where is she at? Is she in this room? Right, that's your next director. Well, the real bidet <laughs> coulet, please stand up. Bidet coulet. <laughs> she went to the bathroom to use the bidet. Right. Okay, hi, uh, uh, question. Hi, what's your question? <laughs> I hold the mic. Come, just come to me, Jesus. Hey, Shay. So, hey, uh, how are you? How uh, are you? So, now that Elizabeth, I don't know if someone already asked this question, but now that Elizabeth Warren has dropped out, who are you endorsing or who are you voting for? Uh, I don't know if you still registered to vote in Illinois. March 17th. I am, absolutely. That is really important. People in, in Illinois, yes. March 17th. Those are our primaries. Go out and vote. Make sure you bring your hand sanitizer with you. Keep a safe distance between you and other people. Wash those hands. Um, for those of you, some may know, some may not know, but earlier in uh, this race, uh, I had endorsed Senator Elizabeth Warren because she, she was a woman with a plan. Yep. And I really, really, really loved her. Right. Um, I am someone that is, is far more of a progressive Democrat. So um, and naturally, uh, the candidate that I am endorsing is Bernie Sanders. Yeah. Um, I understand the way that things are looking really right now, but I, I also have to reiterate that we as a generation have a really impactful and powerful voice. Yep. And we need to go out there and exercise our right to vote because it is our civil duty. And if we don't, then we have no one else to blame but ourselves. Right. So literally get out there. I know it's crazy, but go and vote for the person that you feel represents you best. And, and it's uh, not Joe Biden because he touches little girls. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add to what Shay just said. Uh, you guys have the incredible gift to be able to vote. I live in this country, and I was volunteering to the Democratic Party when Trump got elected. I was trying to um, inspire people to vote for Hillary, and I discovered that Trump was the current president. So you have a right that I don't have, which is to vote and make changes. So I need you, no matter what candidate you're rooting for, just go and do your homework, because I can't. 
I can't. Yes. I can't do it. So I need all of you to make a change for me to respect it. So yes. just do it, please. Please. Right. All right. Hi, uh, we're going to do a few more and we're going to close it up and then performances are at 11.30 and 12.30. Hi, what's your question? I'm George. Um, I love how Shea Coulee brought up the point about being black and just like bringing a presence in the world in general. But how was your experience working with Lush Cosmetics? Because you slayed and you slayed and then when people showed up in our stores, they were like, oh my God, it's Detox and it's Shea Coulee. So... <laughs> How was your experience with that? It was amazing to see the windows just pop up. That was, honestly, I had so much fun shooting that Lush campaign. Just real quick, we, he smells very good. Yeah, he smells like Lush. He probably smells like Lush. Come here, you, what you do you did wear? a bath bomb, like, you smell great. Right, get it. Oh, intergalactic. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Um, Yes, I do. Yes, the Southport store. Yeah, you know what's here. I come to Southport too, bitch. <laughs> bitch. Yeah. You don't hit me. You don't hit me up. Free face washes, bitch. She needs to. Smell it was. Better, it was. So. It was a lot of fun getting the opportunity to play around with these like products and like we all like shot on different weekends, so we didn't get to shoot together. So it was like all like an individual thing. But I think the the part that felt most significant to me was being able to see my face up in all these stores and to have like people like tweet at me, even like my aunts that were like on vacation in Vegas. Yeah. They were like, "That's that's that's our nephew. Oh my god, right. we like need to take a bit like." For the little the little gay boy in Indiana who didn't feel like he belonged anywhere, to see that type of representation, it really was like a full circle moment. It yeah. really like it was it was great. That's not gay famous. That is suburbs mall famous, which yeah, is that's a whole real shit. different famous. Well, I I think the the other amazing thing about it is it's Lush never uses any kind of um, paid they sponsorship or endorsements or any kind of celebrity thing like that. They, they always, always use, their use people, and, yeah, which I think is amazing as well. But it was their first time ever oh, wow. branching out to involve any kind of celebrity endorsement or celebrity spokesperson. Yeah, and they wanted to make it a queer voice because yeah. they are such a positive queer. Yeah, you know, it's company. A, it's a fun company. It was a, a, an honor to be a part of. Got to go to the factory, right? Especially shit. being like we're we're huge fans of right? Russians it and was bathing. Fun. And I loved it. Yeah. So, so yeah. when my bathtub gets installed, everyone come have a lush bath <laughs> in my house and look at my squirrels. <laughs> yes. yes. Thank you, baby. All right. Um, okay. Hi. Do we have any more questions? Uh, we'll do a final one. Is it a good one? Is it a finale question? Okay. Let's do it. We're gonna do one final she one. She just doesn't want to walk over there. That's why she's asking. Girl, you know I've had to pee for an hour. Hi. Right. Hustle oh, up hi. here, diva. Hi. Girl. What's your question? Hey. There's only one bathroom. Uh, first Let's of play all, swords. happy Pisces season, Nikki. Happy birthday. Yes. Um, Pisces. You all have such beautiful skin. Do any of you have favorite skincare products or tips? Wow, dude, okay. I have a list for you. Honey. <laughs> this has been a work in progress since 2016, let me tell you. Infused Med Spa. Thank you. <laughs> uh, yes, oh my God, Infused Med Spa is literally what I will always, they do great, amazing like deals for people in the queer King community. King Spa. Um, but uh, if I, there is this brand called The Ordinary. Um, they are really amazing because they do like really high quality skincare for super duper cheap. Like their products like range between like eight and sixteen dollars. So you don't have to like go out and spend like fifty, seventy dollars on a cream. Like this brand has got you. And I, I, I believe their headquarters is based here in Chicago, like out in Wicker Park. So like when you go to like Sephora or any place like that, look up the ordinary because like the, it really is the shit. And they have a full line of skincare that is just like and nice. though the product from The Ordinary is exactly the same product you get in Drunk Elephants, yep, in yep. Bioderma, in Estee Lauder. Oh, so wow. you are literally getting same thing. The, the, the primary ingredients that you're going to pay $60. But for much cheaper. Dollar. For, like, for like fucking clean and clear prices, girl. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, The Ordinary, get on that. Yeah. Nice. Shake your way 2020. All right. I wouldn't go that far, but... <laughs> well, I, I just, I was just like, I, I'm gonna survive 2020. That's what I took from that. <laughs> Shea Kool-Aid. Sanders <laughs> kool Right in my mouth. All right, I believe that brings us to the end. Did you guys enjoy yourselves tonight? Woo! Thank you for coming out. Uh, give it up for our fill-in tonight, Miss Detox. Thank you. Uh, our birthday girl, Nikki Doll. And Miss Shea Kool-Aid. Yeah! 
Wash your hands. Wash your hands. Wash your butt. And of course, wash. always, listen, shut up. Fuck you. Oh. And of course, please give it up for your regional treasure, T Rex. Hey! Yeah! Thank you. I like that regional treasure. Uh, we're going to have uh, performances at 11.30 and 12.30. Thank you guys so much for coming out. If you want to do the meet and greet, you can uh, get in wash line your hands. right here. That'll be at 10 o'clock. And uh, that costs... Put on a body condom. $15. Uh, wash your ass. And uh, yeah. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. I think that's all. We'll see you guys next week. I don't know. See you later, guys. Well, wash your booty hole. Thank you guys for coming out. Uh, there's a lot going on. We really appreciate you. Wash your fucking hands. Wash your hands. <laughs>